Mr. Alozias Bujingo faces Luzira prison after the murder of his bodyguard, Uncle Richard. The Minister of Internal Affairs, General Kahinda Otafire, is also not happy with Pastor Alozias Bujingo. I'm coming up with the details. Hi everyone, this is Rubega Jime from High Energy Electricals. Tusa angibwe nasa na kuchizibe nasa na business center room number C9. Gwewe nawe na aliyevu laya, olimu Amerika, oli Japan, oli Korea, oli South Africa, oli Kenya. Osoro kutufu na kumitimba gano jafejenja ulo, heja yutu, okuri ogwa YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, gweteka mbutesi High Energy Electricals. Jakubo lava logu yeno ku screen. Likeinga, followinga, commentinga, sharinga. Well, good morning. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and this is the Buzz UG. Now, Pastor Alozias Bujingo is likely to be arrested for fooling Ugandans and over the murder of his bodyguard, Uncle Richard. Well, this is after 95% of Ugandans on social media punched holes in his shooting saga. Well, Bujingo claims he was shot at, but he has no wounds or scratches on his body. And that night, he later returned back home. Uh, the Minister of Internal Affairs, General Kahinda Otafire, is also not believing Pastor Bujingo's story. I mean, he's still confused on what to believe about the whole story because the whole story doesn't connect very well. How do you survive 13 bullets without any scratches on your body? Not even a drop of blood on your shirt. <laughs> well, Ugandans on social media and other top government officials still have a lot of questions regarding this incident and they really want answers. Now, this is a statement from General Kahinda Otafire, the Minister of Internal Affairs. I hear the car was shot at with 13 bullets, but the police hasn't told me how it happened. We have not seen the vehicle. To know how the bullets were fired. There's a lot of drama in this whole thing that is not easily to understand. I need a police report first. I heard that he took himself to Mulago, that he first pretended to have died under the steering wheel when a voice told him to dive under so that he doesn't die. <laughs> Those are words of General Kahinda Otafire, the Minister of Internal Affairs. Uh, so he's also among the 95% of Ugandans on social media who are not believing the whole story. Some Ugandans have concluded that Pastor Aloysius Bujingo killed his bodyguard and no doubt about that. Otherwise, we are waiting for a police report telling more findings into this saga and I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula. And uh, subscribe in case you haven't, but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Melads Milo, aka Fula. Bye for now. Thank you.